Hi, I'm Chris Bradshaw from Hexagon. During this video, we will complete our heat exchanger model. We will add the inlet and the outlet nozzles for both the product and for the coolant. And we'll also define the support saddles. All right, let's start by adding the nozzles. So I'm going to attach first, first nozzle onto the inlet channel shell. Select the shell and hit the nozzle button on the ribbon to add the nozzle. I'll give this nozzle a name. Let's call this one liquor in. And a shed 40, nominal size 200. Nozzle is what I want and shed 40 is okay as we can see the area replacement calculation passes down at the bottom of the window. So I'm just going to position the nozzle. Uh, let's move it 250 mil along the shell at a 90 degree layout angle. And I'm going to change the flange to a class 300 flange. Okay, so there's my liquor in nozzle. Next on to the main shell, I'm going to add two nozzles, a cooling in and a cooling out. So on the main shell, attach a nozzle, and let's add the first one, cooling out. This will be nominal size 250. Again, at shed 40, the area replacement calculation passes. Let's move this 500 mil along the shell at a 180 degree layout angle and we'll attach a class 300 flange. I want to add a second nozzle onto the main shell so I go to the add a new nozzle button down at the bottom of the window. We add the second nozzle and this will be the cooling in which will then make just like the cooling out nozzle. So shed 40 Nominal size 250, all the materials again are okay, class 300 flange, however we'll relocate this 2.45 meters along the shell and reset the layout angle to 0 degrees. Again, no issues with the area replacement calculation. And if we switch to perhaps an isometric view, we can see all of the nozzles. So I'm going to attach one final nozzle onto here for the liquor out, onto the outlet channel shell and I'm going to make this one just like the liquor in nozzle. Let's change the name to liquor out and then change the position 250 mil along the shell at 270 degrees. Clicking on the nominal size field will kick in the area replacement calculation which again also passes. So no issues with the nozzles here. If I jump to orbit mode and spin the model around I can see all four nozzles which look okay to me. Okay next let's add the saddles, the two support saddles which we will attach onto the main shell. So let's select the main shell. We don't have to switch to select mode but for clarity I will just jump into select mode, select the main shell and let's attach a support saddle. So the first saddle I'll call left saddle um, but I'll reposition this slightly further along the shell to 200mm. The centerline dimension, see the distance B indicated by the sketch, I'm going to increase that to 900mm. Uh, the wear plate is okay as is and all the rest of the data is okay. If we wish to perform a check on this saddle we can do that by checking the perform saddle checkbox and for this example I'm going to stick with the default material and all the default properties here. Of course you could change these if you wish. I'm also going to perform anchor bolt calculations by checking the box here. And 8 bolts is okay, the bolt material is okay. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do here next is to pick the bolt diameter. I will click the button here to pick from the, the list and I'll pick 1 inch diameter bolts. So that's my first saddle. I'm going to add a new saddle 
with the button down the bottom of the screen. So I've now got two saddles. This is saddle two of two. I'll change the name to right saddle. And I'll make this one make this one the same as the first saddle. So if I hit same as first, that pulls through all the properties to match the first saddle. So here we have the bolt diameter, centerline dimension B has changed. And the saddle has also been positioned appropriately the same distance from the far end of the shell, 200 mil, as well the same distance as the first saddle. Okay, so there's the input complete. Here in the next final stage, will be to run the analysis, which will be done in the next video. And finally, when we click OK, here we can see our saddles. Again, in orbit mode, I can take a look, see the saddles. Now the heat exchanger input is complete, ready for analysis, which as I say, will be done in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed that video and found it useful. But remember, if you do have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at Hexagon. Thanks for watching.